Thanks for joining us for Maine's Total Weather. Let's take a look at that forecast, and it looks very quiet for today. In fact, a lot like yesterday, as far as the sky condition is concerned, temperatures be pretty similar, maybe a little bit colder, but we won't have the wind chill to deal with. Later in the day, we see some clouds increasing across southern areas predominantly. This, as low pressure develops off the mid-Atlantic coastline, it's going to track well to our south and out to sea, but some of those clouds will be scooting in, especially to the southern half of the area, for the evening, overnight hours as well, and into the start of tomorrow. So I think even tomorrow morning we'll deal with some of these clouds. It looks like the precipitation, the heaviest of it, will stay well to the south and east. Even spotty snow showers uh, could affect southern New England, but I don't think we'll get anything out of this up here. So just quiet weather to continue. So for today, we'll see sunshine with some high clouds in the afternoon. Chilly, but fairly comfortable when you factor in the, the wind or the lack of it today. Temperatures mostly in the 20s. Overnight tonight, we drop down to the single digits in the north, teens south, as we get more clouds to roll in. In fact, some southern areas may stay around 20 tonight. And then for tomorrow, the clouds will gradually thin out. We'll see temperatures in the 20s to near 30. Near 30 on Friday with increasing clouds again. Saturday, low pressure tracks out to sea to our east, but this one comes a little closer. So I think the potential is there for some mixed precipitation or snow later Saturday into Sunday morning. Uh, jury's out. This one could be heavier if it tracks further westward. So we'll keep a close eye on it. And then more active weather to start next week. In fact, we'll see clouds rolling right back in later Monday. Tuesday, another low pressure system, perhaps closer to the area, will bring a chance of snow. That snow may linger into Wednesday morning, followed by windy conditions. And then I think we could bring in some of the coldest air of the season following that system.